Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at urban sustainability. This is part of Paper 2, Unit A, Urban Issues and Challenges. Sustainable urban living is all about causing minimal damage to the environment, allocating resources fairly and creating a strong sense of community. Management of resources and transport is vital if we are to live sustainably and we need to conserve water and energy and minimise waste as much as possible. The following features are really important in sustainable urban environments. Firstly, renewable energy. Sustainable communities often have wind turbines and solar panels to generate energy without creating carbon emissions. This can also lead to lower energy bills for residents. Apartments in sustainable communities often have green roofs. These plants absorb pollutants to increase air quality and absorb water to reduce the risk of flooding. Green roofs can often be combined with rainwater harvesting to recycle water. Sustainable communities also have strategies in place to reduce car ownership, such as a lack of parking facilities or expensive parking permits. However, many of them are now being built with electric charging facilities. Linked to reducing car use is the fact that sustainable communities are designed to encourage cycling, such as having an extensive network of safe cycle paths and plenty of secure bike storage facilities. There will often be links to a local bicycle hire scheme as well. In order to reduce car usage, sustainable communities will also have good access to affordable public transport, such as regular bus, tram or train services. When these link up together, we call these integrated services. So they are very efficient, which encourages usage. Another important aspect of sustainable urban environments is urban greening. Planting trees and establishing green spaces is important for urban wildlife habitats, for filtering out air pollution and for reducing the risk of flooding by increasing infiltration. Green spaces are also important for physical and mental health, particularly in areas of housing without gardens. Another feature is the creation of wildlife habitats. These developments usually have some land set aside to restore wildlife habitats, such as small areas of woodlands or wetland environments. These can also be used as a leisure amenity. Finally, keeping active is an important part of sustainable communities, good for both physical and mental health. So these developments usually will have sports facilities such as football pitches, basketball courts, tennis courts and playgrounds, which are accessible to all. East Village in the East End of London was specifically created as the Olympic Village for the London 2012 Games. Following the Games, it was converted into 2,818 sustainable homes and it has impressive eco-credentials with an on-site biomass power station creating the energy source for the entire community with 90% efficient heating systems and 90% construction waste saved from landfill. LED lighting is used throughout the village, which has saved 5,000 tonnes of carbon emissions. The apartment blocks, which you can see in the image on screen, have living roof gardens, which helps to replenish them and nurture local wildlife. East Village is considered to be a success. It is home to 6,000 people and has on-site restaurants, shops and bars, as well as 35 acres of open land and three children's parks. There are plans to add a further 2,000 homes to the site with the same eco-credentials. And we're going to quickly finish with another example. This time we're looking at Rotterdam's cube houses. These are a set of high-tech homes built in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. You can see them on screen. They're designed by architect Piet Blom. They are based on the concept of living as an urban roof. This includes high-density housing with sufficient space on the ground level, its main purpose being to optimise the space inside. Blom's main goal was to create an urban area that felt like a village, and these have a number of sustainable features. They are energy efficient through photovoltaic panels that power the building's lighting, heating and electronics. They have a smart energy system which can connect to the main grid or operate independently. And they have green roofs that help to cool the building and to store rainwater. 
They are built out of sustainable materials. They have a timber frame skeleton insulated with rock wool and a sheath with cement and wood fibre board on the inside and outside. They are also built to conserve water through their great water reuse system, which collects rainwater from the roofs and it uses it for flushing toilets. And they also have other sustainable features, such as a double skin facade, which creates breathe spaces with natural light and greenery. They have movable windows and ventilation also. The cube houses are considered to be a really successful, sustainable experiment. That concludes this tutor to you topic video focusing on urban sustainability. Thank you for watching.